So the next feature we're going to talk about uh, editing inside of Pro Tools is groups. And uh, groups are useful for a whole lot of things, and they can really help you in your editing as well as your mixing. Uh, so let's, let's go up here. I have, um, I have uh, two acoustic tracks here, one I recorded on a previous session with you, one I just recorded just before this session, and I have my drum track here, of course. Um, now, uh, let's say I, I uh, all, these acoustic tracks Let's say I want to always be editing these together. Um, you know, so if I, you know, if I copy them and paste them or if I duplicate them, I always want to be treating them basically like they're one track because that's just how they function. That's how I want them to function inside this session. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here on the left on their track name where it says Acoustic. And then I'm going to hold Shift and click the next one, Acoustic 2. So as you can see, they're both white. Both, uh, both track names are white. And if you go up to the track menu at the top here, you'll see the option for group, which the hotkey is Apple G, which makes a lot of sense for group. If I group those tracks, it's going to bring up the Create Group dialog box here. And it's going to ask me to name the group, which is a, always a really good idea. Um, I'm going to name it Acoustics. And, uh, we won't go over all these options uh, right now, um, but th basically it comes up with the right, the, you know, it comes up with the right options selected and everything. So just name the name the group, click OK. So now, if if you take a look at uh, these two regions, if I if I click in here and I and I select, I'm selecting on both regions. Even if I'm only just clicking on one of them. They're, they're treated basically like they're one track, okay? So that's really useful. Um, and if you look in the lower left-hand corner of my screen here, uh, you'll see that the group Acoustics has been added to these little edit groups uh, uh, section right here. And it's blue, which means that it's active. If I, if I click that, now it's uh, not active. And so that's useful if you want to just edit something on an acoustic, uh, on one of the single tracks and then click it, becomes blue, and it's active again. And so in, in addition to uh, your edit window here, if we go over to the mix window by going to window and mix, or just hitting Apple equals, bring up our little faders here, you'll see that uh, uh, now uh, these, these two acoustic tracks have a little A on them, which means it's just the, they're, it's group A. And if I Watch, watch what happens if I grab one of these faders and turn it up or down. Uh, both faders turn up and down. So that's a really useful feature. Let's say I, you know, I like the balance of these acoustic guitars, but they're just they're drowning out the drums a little bit, so I can just grab one of them and bring them both down, and their ratio, uh, one to the other one, stays the same. So that's a really useful feature. I'm going to go back to my edit window here. Um, and uh, you can, obviously, you can use that feature uh, for grouping, all, you know, all kinds of things. Obviously, once you have a, uh, a drum kit recorded, that's one, of the, uh, that's one of the things I always do is I group my drum kit. You know, I'll, I'll group my overheads, left and right overheads, and my room mics, and then in addition to that, group my drums. And you can get really deep if you want to. Uh, and that's just another feature inside of Pro Tools that'll help you uh, get where you want to go.